so we will talk about rapidity in this video which is a very important concept in high energy particle physics so first we can look into the energy total energy of a particle with rest mass energy m so e square is equal to px square c square plus py square c square plus p v square c square plus the total mass m square plus r times c to the fourth now we can look into a case where the particle is moving in z axis or this is the beam the axis of the beam moving and we want to look at this particle that is the, or like from a lab frame which will be Lorentz boosted in the z axis so we will look into the rapidity with respect to this and we're also going to eventually show how the rapidity y is a Lorentz invariant quantity along this z axis so since we're looking at the z axis or the how the particle um, is being is moving in the z axis then we also have x and y axis so any displacement or momentum in the x or y direction will be invariant which we can look at if we look at this equation this is px py and this m expression these are invariant so we can show we can try to regroup them so we can bring this pz square which is not in where we haven't shown if it's invariant or not to the other side minus p v square c square equal to p x square c square plus p y square c square plus m square v to the fourth all these quantities on the right side are invariant the mass is invariant the x and y components of momentum are are invariant so we just wanted to regroup them in that in this way so we will utilize it later on now this rapidity is or we can let's define some other uh, components for example we should look into the for displacement components or for momentum components when it comes to Lorentz boost boosting so the floor displacement components versus the four not versus for momentum components we are just going to list them here So the first one in the displacement component is CT prime, which we can relate to with this Lorentz factor gamma times CT minus theta times Z, because we are looking at the invariance in the Z direction. And then in that case, x prime is simply x, y prime is simply y, but z prime will have this Lorentz factor gamma times z minus theta z t. Now this gamma we have defined as 1 divided by 1 minus theta square which beta in this case is v divided by c and v is the speed that the frame is moving 
in z direction. Similarly, we will be writing out the four momentum components, which I am listing here e prime divided by c is equal to gamma times e divided by c minus theta pz. And then the px prime will just be the same as px because those are invariant. py prime is just py. And pz prime is, oops, which did I write? Gamma times pz minus beta e divided by c. Now, going back to, uh, let me change the color, going back to this function, we can. define we can define um, another expression mt or another quantity which we will call the transverse mass mt let me just try to type it out transverse mass mt which will be a function of px py and m which are all invariant in this case so we are just defining mt square c to the fourth as p x square c square p y square c square m square c to the fourth so essentially what we are having what expression we have now is e square minus p z square c square is essentially equal to m t square c to the fourth which is basically this is the same function as what is over here okay now moving on we are going to focus on the rapidity problem or what is this rapidity so the rapidity is defined as as a remember the expression this one half times the natural log of e plus p z c divided by e minus p z c so we are discussing of a of a situation or of a scenario where the frame the the boost is in the z direction so let's say a particle a mo is moving in the z direction and after it collides with another particle the two particles that are being produced this is x y in this x y plane this whatever particle moves we want to find define its position in with respect to the x y plane and the z axis so if we look at this rapidity when this particle over here let me change the color so it is easier to see when this particle over here the orange one or the product if it is solely in the x y plane it will have a very small or like if it's uh, let me let me rephrase that it will have a varying momentum in the z direction depending on where its position is in this whole 3d space so if it is entirely in the x y plane plane let's let's say the particle is like here where the z is equal to zero in that case the momentum terms will just basically be equal to zero when and then you have natural log of e by e which is basically natural log of one which is zero so you get the rapidity to be zero let me erase this actually no it's a constant let me erase this instead 